Hello. How you doing? Are you Dan? Yes, sir. I'm Gary Sinise. N nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you? I'm well, thank you. And this is Sarah. She, she's our communications uh, director. Slash well, so she helped out with all of this. Hi. Well, they told me that you made a call to us from the town that I was born in. So I thought I'd check in and say hello. St. Francis, I presume? Yes, born in St. Francis Hospital. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, me too. Well, who in Blue Island wasn't born in St. Francis? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot of a lot of memories uh, in Blue Island. In fact, just this morning, I was looking through some old photographs that were taken in 1943. Okay. By a very, at the time, a very well-known photographer who was interviewing and photographing families that were affected by the war or in some way participating. And my grandfather at that time worked uh, on the Indiana Harbor Belt uh, Rail road line okay and they were going back and forth between chicago and iowa and transporting all kinds of equipment for the war effort and whatnot and so uh jack delano photographed my grandfather with his railroad crew he was like a, a crew chief and sat in the caboose and went back and forth and and whatnot and so there are these fabulous photographs that live at the library of congress Oh, wow. And, and also, they are at the Chicago Historical That's Society because they are, they're, they're part of history. And then he went and photographed my grandfather, my grandmother, my uncle Jerry, who was just uh, a senior in high school uh, at that time, or a junior in high school at that time, too young to go to war, but his older brother was at war. And then my dad, who was about 12 years old, and they lived right near the White Castle on uh, 127th and Western. Yeah. Which, <laughs> you which, remember that? <laughs> oh man, are you kidding? Uh, every time we would come to visit my grandparents, the first stop was uh, at the White, White Castle. Castle. And it's still there. It's got to be have been there for about 75 years oh, or yeah, something yeah. like that, that White Castle. But just down the street, uh, off of Western is Orchard Street, and my grandparents lived right there. You might fly by there. The house is still there. Yeah. And uh, there are these famous pho photographs, black and white photographs, of like my father standing outside the house throwing snowballs and, <laughs> and inside the house with my my grandparents and, and my Uncle Jerry. And there's a, there's a great photograph inside that house on Orchard Street with the family and my grandmother is holding a picture of my Uncle Jack, who is off at war wow. at that time. He served in the Army Air Corps, and he was a, a navigator on, the, on a B-17. Oh, and wow. when he came home, he worked for years at the First National Bank of oh, Blue wow. Island. <laughs> wow. We keep tabs on what you're doing quite a bit. We're obviously very proud of that, being Blue Island and that you're from here. Um, it's a great point of pride, all the work that your organization does. I play a lucky part here. When we found out that you were reaching out to us for some support and everything like that, I just felt I had to check in with you. I wrote a book called Grateful American, and in it, there's stuff about growing up in that area, you know, and then I got into, you know, years uh, years ago, I got into supporting our, our military and our veterans and our wounded and our first responders, our firefighters, police officers, people that serve and protect us. And through the firefighters that I met after September 11th in New York City, that's how I got involved in, in outreach to first responders all over the country. And, and, and it manifested into the creation of, you know, a very specific program, our first responder outreach, uh, where the American people can generously contribute whatever uh, they so desire to the effort. And then we can pass that on uh, to the men and women who serve and protect our cities and our country. And I get to be the one today to tell you that we would love to provide that extraction equipment to you and your department to help you in your efforts to save people and to take care of people in that community. Oh, th thank you. That means the world to us. That's, that, that's great news. This is coming from thousands and thousands of people across the country who support our foundation and they care about our first responders and they want you to know that. So I get to tell you. Thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate it.